Well, in China, the brand is held in very, very high regard. Uh, in China, our favorable opinion for the Lincoln brand is actually higher than that of Lexus. Uh, in China, the, uh, the perception of prestige for Lincoln is actually better than Audi. And some of our products there are actually selling at a premium to those, those brands. So our heritage plays a big role in it. The Chinese people love American luxury. They love Lincoln. Uh, and uh, we, we're off to a fantastic start in, in the first year in China. So we're obviously uh, deploying significant resources in the growth of Cadillac and, uh, and rebuilding the Cadillac brand and restoring it to the absolute pinnacle of the automotive industry, you know, where it's been uh, in the past. And we're doing that by doing you know, world-class vehicles, absolutely uh, uh, top-notch uh, top performance, top-notch styling. So the first step is build better product. If you want to be competitive, you need to make very good product. And you have to do it for a while to get that brand image up. Now, some of the domestic manufacturers, they're already on the right track. You look at Cadillac, they make wonderful product. And honestly, in our testing, they're just as competitive as Mercedes-Benz and BMW. They drive really nice. Clearly, the three global brands from a luxury point of view do reside in, in Germany. You have then other brands around the world who are either more niche or more localized. But all competition is something we're wary of. But I can also tell you we like to shape our own future rather than necessarily keep looking over our shoulder. Our goal is very simple, is to represent 10% of the premium market. Um, in the United States, we have 6.5% of the premium market, so there is more growth to come. At the base of this growth, obviously, a lot of technology, a lot of products.